Hi, in this video I am going to explain the second method for solving the nonlinear equations. So first of all understand what is the second method and why we use this uh, instead of using a non uh, Newton Raphson method. In the last video I explained the Newton Raphson method. The value of the x i plus 1 is equals to the value of x at the point i minus f the value of the function at the x i upon the value of the differentiation of the function f x i. However, this is one of the drawbacks of the Newton Raphson method that we need to find the differentiation of the function f x and, and this drawback is uh, removed by second method. We all know that the differentiation of any function we can replace this f dash x is equals to f at the value of the, the value of the we all know that the differentiation of the function fx can be replaced by the value of the function fx minus the value of the function at x minus i upon the xi minus x i minus 1. And if we substitute, substitute this value of the f dash x in the equation 1, then we will find the equation xi plus 1 is equals to xi minus the, func the value of the function at xi into the interval xi minus xi minus 1 upon the value of the function at the xi minus the value of the function at xi minus 1. So this equation is called the secant method. Notice there is uh, no differential equation, there is nothing uh, like differentiation of any function. Let's work out an example in MATLAB. In order to save your time, I have already coded this function in MATLAB. You can uh, simply download it, this code from the MATLAB official website or just send me a mail. Uh, my mail ID is given in the comment section. You can just send me a mail. I will send you this code. So let's try to run it in MATLAB command window. This figure shows the entered function on a given interval with the initial gases. In this figure, the iteration 1 is plotted and it will give the values. The absolute relative approximation error will be somewhat like 68.64 in the first iteration. For the second iteration, the error is reduced by a highly amount, it is 3.7953%. And this is the last iteration for the given function and the, where, uh, the relative error is almost 0.34799%. So in this way you can always solve a non-linear equation with the help of secant method. This was Satyendra. Thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe if you liked it.